Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Today we're going to go over the UNI-T UT161D meter here, brand new in. That we're going to disassemble and take care of a, of a uh, issue that I have found with these UNI-T meters from prolonged use. I do have my UT. 61 e plus here that i've had now i think i've been using this for almost a year and a half which has done quite well for me except for a little minor issue of the rotary dial here over time there's two pins on each side of this little plastic pins over time those two plastic pins will break on you and this thing will just just rotate around so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you what I do to resolve this problem. Uh, what I'm going to do with this meter before those pins break. So once those pins break, it puts a lot of pressure on the tabs inside this rotary dial and they get bent out of shape and then it makes, it's real hard to make a good contact for the meter to work functional, to work properly. So let's just dive right into this. And then we will make our way to this SCAR RP2K here. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear off the table here. And we're going to open this up. So there's just a couple screws on the back here. You got two small screws here in the battery holder, and then you got two screws here on the end. So I removed those two small screws already. And I go on to pull this back cover off here. Which will reveal the back side of the meter for you. So from here, all you gotta do is you gotta pull the screws that are holding the terminals down here. And then we gotta pull the small screws that are holding the circuit board down. So like I said, this is brand new. This this has not even seen batteries yet. So I just wanted to resolve this problem before it becomes a bigger issue later. And what I've learned from disassembling the UT61E Plus is to keep track of where the screws go because there's different lengths of screws that go through this board. So I'm just going to pull them out and lay them in the order that they're coming out of the board. Just sticking the screws right into my mat so I know what direction, what orientation these screws go back in at. I have not seen any videos online about this particular issue and I'm sure I can't be the only person that's had this problem. I use these meters every single day so they see use every day. But for the money, the value, you just can't beat these. So this one has temperature. 
This is the what they call the HVAC multimeter, and then my uh, UT61E Plus is the electrician multimeter. And there is the dial that I'm talking about. Now, I am going to make sure that it stays in the position that it's in right now. It's got an arrow on it right here. I'm going to mark the arrow. And I'm going to mark where the arrow is pointing. So I'm, I'm sure there's only one direction this thing will go or fit. But I just want to make sure. Like I said, this has never seen batteries. And if you look really close right here, there's two pins right here that those are the two little plastic pins that i'm talking about let me see if i can get you a little closer here all right so there's the two pins that broke on my 61 e plus this pin here and this pin here broke so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my soldering iron i'm going to heat it up and there's two little locking tabs here this tab here and this tab here I'll just let you know, glue, super glue, will not stick to this white plastic. I'm no expert in plastics. I couldn't tell you what kind of plastic this is, but I do know super glue won't stick to that. But you can melt those two tabs together, this gray tab to the white plastic here, and it will hold very, very firmly. So I'm just going to reach right on in here with my soldering iron and I'm going to more or less fuse together the white plastic and the gray plastic. Which should help remove the stresses off those two small little pins. Just like that. Now, the chances of this coming apart are pretty slim. You'd have to really reef on the dial to break this free. At least that's what I've found for my uh, UT61E+, Plus. is it's worked out quite well. Let me get you back to the normal view again here. My arrow is still lined up. There's no debris or anything on the contacts here. I have found that to be the biggest problem is the contacts of this. And then I'm just going to place this board right back into place. And then screw it all back together. It's pretty simple. As long as I don't lose any of these screws. Uh, kind of a simple process. To uh, reduce future problems with this.
And then hopefully if all went well, I should be able to put the batteries in and fire this thing right back up. And this is why I laid the screws out the way I did, because I said, there, I said there's different lengths on the screws. So you just want to make sure that the right screws go back in the hole that they came out of. I'll try to get this together as quick as possible. Nice, we're looking good, nice. And the cover can go back on. And then the last two screws. And then batteries. Maybe. Once I find me some triple E's. And then four triple A batteries. cover and now we shall see does it work There it is. Off. Volts AC. Millivolts AC. Ohms. Frequency. Temperature. Microamp. So, all the functions work.
and that is what I do anytime I got to buy a new meter uh, at least a uni t meter again they're a great value for the price i think i paid uh for this particular particular model i paid 78 dollars for for the ut 161d again it says hvac uh series on this one here and my other meter says the electrician so this one here is a 22,000 count meter while the uh, hvac is a 6,000 count meter which any of these are plenty, uh, plenty function wise for any amplifier repairs and testing. So I have never found an issue with these meters, which is why I use them. I do have a Fluke 87, which honestly I use less than these Uni T meters. But that's, uh, that's how this is going to roll out here now that we have two meters on the desk for you guys. Uh, they both have PC functionality. This one, new one also has PC functionality. So you guys can see temperature now uh, for some of the uh, things that I do. When I talk about thermal runaway, I can show you now on the meter what thermal runaway looks like. And uh, show you two different meters at one time. <laughs> so I can show you, uh, like I said, show you the thermal runaway. Some, just some temperature readings in the future for you guys. So I do thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. I will be working harder to get some more videos out for you guys. And until then, stay safe. Keep your fingers out of the rest. Catch you on the next one.